Dear friends, welcome to Bond with RK Chemistry YouTube channel. In this video, I will explain the aromaticity of fullerenes. We know that fullerenes are one of the allotropic forms of carbon. The general formula of fullerenes is a CN. Here N indicates the number of carbons. The most famous fullerene is Buckminster fullerene. It is also called as uh, the structure of Buckminster fullerene is buckyball structure. The formula of uh, Buckminster fullerene is C60. The C60 it has a sphere like case like geodesic dome contains fused pentagon and hexagon units. So this is a pentagon unit. This one is hexagon unit. If you take C70, it has ellipsoidal case like structure. There is a difference in C60 and C70 structures. In case of C60, you can find 20 hexagonal units, 12 pentagonal units, and C70, 25 hexagonal units and 12 pentagonal units. In C60 and C70, there is a alternative double bond and single bond. There is a conjugation between double bond, single bond, double bond, single bond. There is a conjugation between double bonds. If you take aromaticity of fullerenes, they exhibit spherical aromaticity. There is a delocalization of pi electrons in a spherical manner. So that's why uh, the aromaticity of fullerenes is called as a spherical aromaticity. It's very difficult to explain aromaticity of fullerenes since six-member rings are aromatic and five-member rings are anti-aromatic. It's very difficult to which, which one is aromatic, which one is anti-aromatic, uh, it's very difficult to find out. Not possible electrophilic, electrophilic substitution reactions. What is the reason? To exhibit electrophilic substitution uh, reactions, uh, the compound should have hydrogen. In case of allotropes, uh, you can find only carbons. It's very difficult to substitute carbon by electrophile. So these compounds cannot exhibit electrophilic substitution reactions, but they can exhibit uh, addition reactions, but these are reversible due to aromatic nature of fullerenes. To predict aromaticity of uh, fullerenes or uh, spherical aromaticity, Hitz proposed a rule. If the fullerene contains uh, 2 into n plus 1, whole square pi electrons, so that compound is aromatic. This one is valid up to 50 pi electrons. If the number of pi electrons exceeded are more than 50, the rule, Hitz rule is not applicable. So let us take C60. How many pi electrons are there? 60 pi electrons are there. It's a 4 and pi system. So it's anti-aromatic. And C20, this one also anti-aromatic. If you take C60, 10 plus, how many pi electrons will be there? Already in case of C60, there are 5 pi electrons, 60 pi electrons. So you have to remove 10 plus. 10 plus means you have to remove 10 electrons. So finally, it has 50 pi electrons. The 50 can be written as 2 into n plus 1 whole squared. How can you write? Okay, when you divide with uh, 2, you will get 25. 25 can be written as 5 squared. 5 squared means it is 4 plus 1 whole squared into 2. So 50 can be written as 2 into 4 plus 1 whole squared. So C60 10 plus is aromatic according to Hitz rule. Let us take uh, C22 plus. C20 it has 25 electrons minus uh, 2 plus charge means you have to remove 2 electrons. So finally 18 electrons. When you divide with uh, 2, you will get 9. So 9 can be written as 3 square. 3 square means 2 plus 1 square into it's a 2. It's a 2 into n plus 1 square. So C22 plus it's a aromatic according to Hitz rule. And C66 it is also aromatic. It is not explained by Hitz rule since uh, it has more than 50 pi electrons. It has more than 50 
by electrons it cannot be explained by using Hertz rule C72 is a anti aromatic in coming video I will explain the aromaticity of uh, mesoionic compounds thank you